everyone today i am going to teach you how cube can be drawn using the clinographic projection okay this is the cube this is the this belongs to the normal class of the cubic system and it shows maximum element element of symmetry that is 13 axis of symmetry 9 plane of symmetry and center of symmetry are also present so crystallographic axis are running back to front this will be front and this is by this is the left right left to right and top to bottom means this end is positive this end is negative this end is positive this end is negative top is positive bottom is negative so hold like this you will rotate you will get what fourfold symmetry again if you will rotate like this again you will get the fourfold symmetry likewise this is also gives you fourfold symmetry when you hold this corner point this will give you three fold symmetry axis of symmetry diagonal axis through three axis of three fold four axis of three fold symmetry and three axis of four fold symmetry and now holding like this this will give two fold symmetry so one two three four five and six so total six axis of diagonal axis of two fold symmetry four axis diagonal axis of three fold symmetry and three crystallographic axis that is four fold symmetry plane of symmetry you can get like this this these are the mirror planes so total nine there is total nine mirror planes now and also in uh, if we are discussing about the form this is the simple closed form consists of the eight squares okay and each face will cut only one crystallographic axis and parallel to the other two axis okay now next For those who do not know how to draw the uh, cube axis of the cubic system, they can go back, pause the video, and have a look of the how we can draw the uh, isometric system. It is available on the YouTube. Okay, so first draw the axis of the cubic system. Then you need as I told you, this is this face will cut only one axis and parallel to the other one. Suppose this is the front face, so it cuts only the A1 axis and parallel to the A2 and vertical axis. So, in this exercise, also we are going only to draw the parallel lines. Most of these work is parallel lines so now take the set square and draw a parallel line passing through the positive a1 axis and parallel to the a2 axis like this draw second line that is passing through the negative a1 axis and parallel to the a2 axis again now we are going to draw the parallel line at the end of a2 axis of these lines are parallel to the A1. So this line is passing through the negative end of A2 axis and passing through the parallel to the A1 axis. This line is passing through the positive A1 A2 axis and parallel to the A1 axis. This is the passing through the positive A1 and parallel to the a2 axis so what we get we get four intersection point one two three and four mark them as 
A, B, C, D. So next step is draw a parallel line passing through the positive A3 axis that is the top. Okay. Now draw two lines which are parallel to the A3 axis and passing through the A2 axis, positive and negative ends. So these are the lines parallel to the A3 and passing through the positive and negative end of the A2 axis. Now we get two intersection points. From these intersection points draw two lines which are parallel to the A1 axis and passing through these intersection points. Name them TL means top left and top right intersection point. Okay, of ABCD each now rule of ABCD. So at each point ABCD draw the line parallel to the A3 axis. Mark the intersection point as E. Okay, so now we get four new points. These points are E, F, G, S. Similarly, we will draw the parallel lines in negative A3 end. That is, so we will get two points, bottom right and bottom left. Now, parallel to the A1 axis. So we get now again four points. These points are I, J, K, and L. Here this point is K. I, J, K, and L. So now join the E, I, K, G, or K, E, I, J. You will get the front face. So this is the front face that is it is perpendicular to what a1 axis parallel to the a3 and a2. So this Miller indices of this face will be 100. Zero, zero. Likewise, come to this E F J I. Join these four points. You will get the left plane. The left face which is perpendicular to the a2 positive axis and parallel to the A3 and A1. This one is 0, 1, 0. Now, for the top, join point G, H, F, E. So, this is the plane which is perpendicular to the A3 axis and parallel to the A2 and A1. Perpendicular to the A3. So, this is the Miller indices of this plane, top plane will be 0, 0, 1. So, we get the front faces. Okay. Now, join this G, H, L, K. You will get the right. Okay. Join this as the dotted line. Why? Because these are the back end. We cannot see these lines are yeah, these faces okay so use dotted line and these are not red lines are not constructed lines so these red lines should be dark and little thick in comparison to the other lines now join h f j l you will get the back okay by joining this last step, H, F, 
JL, you get the back face which is perpendicular to the negative A1, okay, and parallel to the A3 and A2 axis, and you also get the bottom that is perpendicular to this plane is bottom. So this is perpendicular to negative A3 and parallel to the A1 and A2 axis. So the Miller indices of this plane will be 0, 0, 1 bar, back side will be bar 1, 0, 0 and this one is 0, 1 bar, 0. Okay, so you have drawn the cube. This is very simple. Follow the, if you have followed the step carefully, you will get the a beautiful cube. Thank you.